In Snapshot 12, week 49, there was a bug, or is a bug rather, where you can enchant any item in the game with a new feature involving enchanting books. Um, and this allowed for you to enchant shears with silk touch. And because you can enchant it with silk touch, the game basically, basically allowed you to pick up cobwebs. Now, people reacted quite positively to this, so Dinnerbone, I think it was Dinnerbone anyway, um, decided to actually implement that fe feature in a future update. So, because of that, uh, cobwebs are now going to be available in survival. And that allows for some quite um, interesting uses. So, now these have always been in the game, but because they haven't been in survival, you could never do them. Firstly, you can use cobwebs uh, for a, a mob system. Obviously, that's not too good. But basically... Oh, God. <laughs> basically, uh, the cobwebs are going to stop a mob. I should not have used creepers. Why did I use creepers? Um, the, the cobwebs are going to stop the mob from taking any full damage, because they absorb full damage, obviously. And that will be very useful for negating all full, dam full damage when you've got a big tower of mob spawning. So next what we have is um, timers. So usually you'd have to either use some like items. Over here you've got um, an item dispenser which basically goes off every five minutes or something. But um, if you wanted a more precise timer you'd have to use repeaters. So one cobweb, and I'm using villagers here, so if we do this, it will take this villager 22 seconds, about 22 seconds, to get through this cobweb. Now, each cobweb you add will add 14 seconds on, about, it's not precise, but it's about 14 seconds. So you can make much more precise um, timers um, with this. Um, and you don't have to use any redstone because that would take for 22 seconds uh, you would need to use 55 repeaters 165 redstone dust or about two and a half stacks of redstone and that's quite a lot for such a short amount of time so you know they allow for a lot um cheaper timers so you don't have to use any redstone and if you just put this on a loop you could just it it, it works infinitely as opposed to item dispensers which eventually will run out of items um, another use is uh, dispose, uh, item disposal systems. So, you know, let's say you're accidentally chucking a diamond or an emerald or something and you're going, oh, well, I actually don't want to lose that. Just go up to it and you can pick it back up. Um, and probably the most useful, I find, is this one. You can jump off a at a height and you can survive the fall without taking any damage if you just hold the... Um, right mouse button so obviously I took no damage there and that is very very useful especially in the nether where you can't usually um, do that and no need for feather falling boots um, another one um, if you are you know in a tight situation with mobs you can hold them back for a while so obviously that's not too good but it will hold them back for a while. <laughs> so you can sort of postpone your death for a few more seconds. <laughs> and that is uh, just a few of these. I'm sure there's many, many more uses, but it's a very, very cool item that's been in the game. You know, we haven't been able to use because it's only been... Cr well, it's not only been creative, but, you know, because you couldn't actually pick it up, you couldn't use them in this sort of way, so... That is five practical uses of cobwebs. <laughs>